Most people always ask me the question, like, what's the difference between a CPA and an accountant? Do I need a CPA? What's the difference? The difference is that when you have someone that's like, okay, I'm going to be an accountant. I'm going to keep your books. I may just do your taxes. There, there's no real certification behind that, right? So, so anybody can be an accountant? Um, or you do can, you have to have at least an accounting degree? No. You could, I could teach you how to do bookkeeping today. No, and, not me, and, girl. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> not me, but somebody. Okay. Yes. I could, like, so with an accounting and, you know, tax preparers, you don't need any particular certifications. So for me, I have, like, certain um, continuing education that I have to take. Mm, so okay. I have to take, like, to ethics change to keep up the credentials. So ethics training, I have to take continuing education. So I have to be on top of what's happening in tax law, mm -hmm. what's happening in accounting um, from just being in compliance. Right. And I can't do anything because I don't want to jeopardize my license. Right. So I'm licensed and like accounting. So you have something aren't. holding you accountable. I have something holding me accountable. So the people out here playing in these streets. It's a lot of people They're playing in these streets. CPAs. They're not CPAs. But you guys should stop letting them play in your business. Listen, the stories. I mean, this conversation, I really and hope, you, you know, I know about speaking to the <laughs> and I really hope me having all these conversations <laughs> is not going to get me. No, 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 no. It's going to help. It's going to help because we're here to help. Please. Right? So one thing I do want to point out a lot of times and why people really need to be careful is because the IRS does not care. You can never call the IRS and say... So -so Tanya, did Tanya did my taxes. I didn't know. Not knowing is not an excuse for How the IRS. How is that fair, IRS? How is that fair? The because IRS, because it's stories. your responsibility. So from the IRS perspective, yeah, because you hear, you'll hear stories that say, um, my CPA told me they, or my accountant told, told me, me the XYZ. To, told me they filed my taxes. You don't understand the people that, I, this person told me they filed my taxes. They haven't filed my taxes in four years. Oh. Why would somebody do that? I keep asking this question. I have not gotten a, a, a straight answer yet. Why would someone do that? They It may have been, a, well, I mean, consistently, it couldn't have been an oversight. They could have just been that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand it because, they, again, I have processes. From that, right? Yeah, I have processes. Like, it, it, I don't know, right? Sometimes people, they, like, still, and that's another thing, too, right? Like, you have someone with your money. Like, your money is so important. You have to make sure that you are hiring people. Because I hear stories where they're like, oh, my accountant took a half a million dollars from me, $250,000 from me. And again, that's why I always tell people, you have to be educated. Because how does somebody take all this money from you? But again, it's because if you not don't understand attention. it, you're looking for someone, again, not having processes. You're looking for someone to come in and say, I'm going to handle it. I'm going to do it. No. That's why, like, when I go through things with my clients, it's like, no, let's go through this line by line. I need you to understand exactly what's happening. I don't care if you want to do it. If you don't want to understand it, if you don't want to talk about it, if that's fine. If you don't have time, you don't have have time you're going to find time, right? Because it's so important. And I always tell people, I can't help you if you can't. Like, only way I can help you is if you can help, help me, me help, help you. you yeah. Right? So I definitely think that in terms of how it happens, um, some people are just, you know, Scammers. Some people just want money and they're not doing anything. But you have to be careful. And the thing, um, some things that people can ask for um, to make sure, one, the reason why the IRS is saying that it's your responsibility is because you signed the taxes. Mm -hmm. So if you signed off on the taxes, what you're signing off to say is that you agree with what this person has submitted mm -hmm. to them. So you can't go back and say, oh, well, I don't know. They, they just they just Because you didn't actually know. read it. Because you, you didn't actually read it. You just signed it, right? And again, we all know, we all know you're supposed to read things before you sign it, right? But most people don't understand tax returns. So even if you gave somebody a tax return, they don't understand it. Mm -hmm. And so that's why like I like to go through tax returns line by line with clients because it's like, no, this is what's happening. That's why, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is why this is happening. Even if you're getting a refund, why are you getting a refund? That meant the IRS had too much of your money. Why are you getting a refund? Let's talk about it. And so I just think that um, people have to be more on top of their finances and have people be able to talk to them. I'm not saying understand everything. I don't expect my clients to understand the tax code. Um, but you need to understand what's happening and why and how it affects you. So uh, you just have to hire people that are Hire alive. the right people. You have to hire Lord, the right people. And pray about it. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about the, this tax law, tax code. Is it the same thing? Yeah, yeah, tax. The tax I told you code I'm not the right is. One. 
I'm not, don't try me, girl. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. The tax code is pretty much like that's the is tax that what law. spells out like deductions, all, all mm-hmm. of the things. So deductions, in my opinion, and I'll, my opinion ain't worth much, but in my opinion, that's one of the biggest benefits of being a business owner is that we get not take advantage, but we have. I guess that's an advantage of being a business owner is, you know, the the being able to write. So to yes, help me to <laughs> to make it simple, I always say that being an employee, you get your money, your tax, and then you get to spend what's left. Mm-hmm. Right. But when you are an entrepreneur, you get your money, you get to spend it and then you get taxed on, on what's, what's left. left. Mm-hmm. Right. And so okay. the it, it's just a um, it's a flip, but it's major. Right. Because they're telling you already, oh, I'm taking 30 percent out your check. I'm taking 40 percent out your check. And then you have to live on what's left mm-hmm. as an entrepreneur. You have the power of saying these are all of my expenses. I'm going to pay my expenses. You know what? What personal expenses that I'm already utilizing for business like your vehicle? your phone, you know, all these things. What are things that I'm already paying for on my personal side that I can now make a business expense and now I can write that off. So now what that's doing is that's decreasing your profit, Mm -hmm. which is in turn reducing the amount of taxes that you're going to pay. Right? So that was a Thank you. Summary to, yeah, to my, sum up what you were saying. Choppy. It was real choppy what I was trying to ask. I got you together. It. I got you it. together. But so, yes. so what? some of the ones that you named, like the vehicle, the phone, mm-hmm. the home office, like those are ones that I feel like we often talk about. Mm-hmm. What are some that are maybe like not as known that we could be taking advantage of? Absolutely. So one that is not talked about a lot is just um, like an IRA or like a retirement contribution mm. and being able to match that. Right. So I talk about that a lot now because people, well, I talk about it a lot with my clients but now I'm going to become more vocal about it because I'm like why isn't everyone doing this if you have a business you can open up a retirement account mm-hmm. for the business if you are an employee of the business you can now contribute to your retirement account and match it so once you match it that's now an expense for the business and now an investment into your retirement and a tax deduction and a tax credit right mm-hmm. so people aren't thinking about these things and so we have to um, some other ones that people don't talk about a lot um let's see what about me getting my makeup done for these podcast episodes it's a little shaky because the irs is very delayed I need my makeup done for these podcast episodes you do need your makeup done but yes because this is more media right so yes you yeah you like can i okay. can i yeah yeah right because it's that. more media right that's like if someone let's say beyonce or people that are on set you need these you know these things done so yes because it's more media but some people who are like they're in real estate and they're like i need my makeup in order to show a house you don't you don't yeah, you don't yeah, right yeah, you yeah, don't you, you okay. don't need it and so it really is about what you can justify and i always tell people if you're sitting down across from an irs agent can you confidently say to them I needed my my makeup makeup done (laughs) right and mind you they probably sitting there bare face looking at you with attitude like you did right Mm -hmm. and so that's that yeah so that's like relative depending on the industry okay so that was one of my questions is like are taxes treated different depending on the industry and it's not that they're treated different it's just that the deductions might be different because of what's actually necessary. Yes, because in order to write off something um, as an, or consider something an expense, it has to be ordinary and necessary. That's the definition by the IRS. So if it's ordinary, meaning it's something common in your industry, then you can write it off. If it's something that you are, you know, it's necessary in order for you to do, then, you know, yeah, you can, you know, so write it off. which ones will land us in jail? Um, ignoring the IRS. Right. So what people don't understand is that before the IRS comes for you. Right. So there's a few things. Right. One, taking deductions that you are not allowed. So let's say um, and it really I just want to say, really, let's back up. Right. Because I don't want people thinking because they get audited or because they write one line item off that going to jail. That is not true. People go to jail for tax evasion. Okay, so there's a big difference between tax Girl, evasion it. and tax is, avoidance. Okay, okay. So, what is the difference? Okay, tax evasion is illegal. Tax avoidance is legal. Okay, so tax avoidance means that you're going to do some tax planning strategies. You're going to implement the tax code. And I want people to understand that the tax code literally is like maybe like 1% telling you that you need to pay taxes and the other 99% of the tax code is telling you how not to pay taxes. Mm.